Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. In today's video, we're actually going to look at what makes your penny coins valuable. So why are they worth money? Why is there a 1943 penny that's only worth pretty much a penny and a 1943 penny that could sell over $100,000? Now, we've already covered that specific coin in another video, so we're going to cover some different coins in this video. Also, if you guys want to go check out all the new Couch Collectibles merchandise, be sure to click the link in the description, couchcollectibles.com. Let's just hop into this video and check out these rare penny coins that are worth money. All right, so here's just an image of low mintage Lincoln wheat pennies. Now you guys can go to Google and just search Lincoln cent mintages and you guys will be able to see how many pennies were produced for each mint mark for each year. So first off, we're gonna look at a 1914 Lincoln cent. Now they produced over 75 million 1914 no mint marks, which means they were produced in Philadelphia. However, the Denver mint, they made only 1.1 million. The San Francisco mint, you see there on 1914, they made 4.1 million. So here's an example of a 1914D. Now, why is this coin valuable even though it's not in a mint stated, high graded coin, anything like that? It's valuable because of its low mintage 1.1 million. Of course, the prices of these coins will vary based on the condition of each coin. This particular coin here sold for over $2,600. Moving right along to a 1922 No D with a strong reverse. Now, if you're not too familiar with this coin, I've done a whole video on it. So be sure to go check that video out. All the penny videos are in my penny playlist on my channel, Couch Collectibles. So in that video, I explained in 1922, they only produced pennies with the D mint mark. However, this one does not have the D mint mark. And they only produced a little over 7 million of those coins. This penny sold for over $7,000. Next up is a 1926S San Francisco minted Lincoln penny. Now they only made 4.5 million of these coins. This penny here sold for a little over $110. Moving right along to a 1931S Lincoln penny. This is very valuable because they only produced 866,000 of these pennies. This is an extremely rare penny, key date penny, very low mintage. They only made 866,000 of them. Now, this penny is not in a very high grade, so it's gonna sell for a lot less. Now, if this penny was in much better condition, it would sell for a lot more money. This penny here sold for a little over $115. Moving right along to a 1941 double die obverse. Now here's a good example of how to explain why your pennies are valuable. So one we covered, they could be low mintage, they didn't produce many of them, so that can make your penny valuable. In this case, 1941, they produced over 887 million of these coins. So what makes this valuable is that it's got a double die obverse error taking place on it. So get you a cheap USB microscope and get them on couchcollectibles.com. You will be able to see your coins up close. That way you can look for doubling on the lettering or on the dates or any other part of the design on the coin. And like I said, an error is the second thing that can make your coin valuable. This penny here sold for over $110. Now, if it didn't have that error, it really wouldn't be worth anything. In 1941, they were really common pennies. They produced a lot of them. Next up is a 1971 Double Die Albers. This is the same case. 1971, they produced tons, over 1 billion, just of the Philadelphia Mint, almost 2 billion of the Philadelphia Mint. So they produced a lot of them. They are not rare. However, when you do find coins with double dies on them, that will make them a little more valuable. This penny here sold for over $125. Next up is the 1972, same error, a double die obverse. Same story, it's not a low mintage coin, but it's got a double die. There's doubling taking place on the lettering and on the date, and that is what makes it valuable. This coin here sold for over $320. Moving right along with the same story, guys, a 1984 Lincoln cent. Now, these coins that I'm showing you guys are not high-graded coins. 
They're definitely in the condition of what you could probably find in circulation in a coin roll. This 1984 penny, because of its double die obverse, the same error as the previous coins, sold for over $125. Now here's another example of what will make your coins extremely valuable. Now this penny here is a very high graded coin. So in 1942 S, they actually produced 85 million of those coins. So it's not really rare in terms of how many they made and it doesn't have an error. So it's not rare in that sense neither. It's rare in the fact that it is an extremely, extremely high graded coin. PCGS graded this at a mint state 68. Again, that is why this coin sold for over $12,000. So like I said, lower mintage dates, key dates, high graded coins, and error coins are what is going to make your penny coins valuable. Until tomorrow, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.